Good morning, everyone. My name is Mighty Stream. Today is September the 22nd. I'm going to do your spiritual principle a day in a meditation for the same date. I'm brought to you by Hope Through Navigation. This is our Hood Recovery Services. You can reach me at recoveryofhope21 at gmail.com. Let's go ahead and get into our meditation. I hope it takes it easy on me today. Let's see what we have here. Okay. The value of empathy. Empathy means we get e we get each other. We see the hidden darkness and love and hurt, and we understand. That's taken from Living Clean, Chapter 5, Fellowship. As newcomers, we often were suspicious when NA members told us, I get you, after we shared. When someone said, I've been there, we thought, no way anyone has been through what we've been through. Even scarier is when someone says, I see you. If someone can see me, then they know how horrible I am. A lot of us reject empathy at first because we misinterpret it as sympathy, like someone feeling sorry for us. What we begin to understand as we keep coming back is that our fellow NA members are feeling our pain with us. We get each other. Our situations and experiences may be different, even unique, but our suffering is not. All of us came to our first NA meeting having fought to keep our addiction going and having lost that fight. Over time, the value of empathy is revealed. After we surrender to the fact that we belong in NA, it is others' empathy that makes us feel safe enough to accept help. We learn we don't have to hide. We can remove the mask we've been wearing, whether it's one projecting intimidation, righteousness, innocence, or invisibility. We can allow ourselves to be seen below the surface and accept that others do understand us. And in turn, we start to identify and empathize with others in the room. Being understood can be scary in a different way too because we witness people who've been through situations similar to ours who have taken positive action. They are clean and are taking responsibility for their lives, their relationships and their choices. Allowing their empathy to affect us helps us to let go of the depth of our hurt and to see a path forward. Eventually, we feel grateful that we get to do that. Accepting others' empathy brings relief. Although we get each other's darkness and hurt, we also feel each other's love and joy. We certainly do get each other. And it's based not only on our wreckage, but on how we deal with it. Let's acknowledge that too. I acknowledge that feeling seen and understood has helped me to heal. That's why today I'm going to be open to other addicts identifying with me and relating to me. I know I'm not alone. You must agree with me. That is one powerful, and I do mean powerful, meditation. I was in class last night, and we were doing a study on risk assessment for suicide. And the author of our textbook after giving us all these statistics and all this information and all of these things that we're supposed to look for in our future clients as counselors. The author of this book said the greatest and most powerful tool up until this date still remains empathy. After all that information, Empathy is still 
valued as the greatest tool to help a still suffering individual. And I want to remind you of that, that we benefit from the empathy of other people in the room. When they say, oh, I, me too, I understand that, right? Me too uh, became a hashtag, right? For women that have been sexually harassed or assaulted. But me too was in play long before that came up. People used it. Oh my goodness, I understand. Me too, me too. I understand that. They were expressing their empathy, their ability to feel on a deep level what you're expressing and what you're feeling because they have been through it too. Not minimizing what you're going through at all, but letting you know that they also can relate to what you've been through. And so I just want to encourage you just real briefly, I want you want to encourage you to think about how empathy has saved your bacon in some instances. How people being able to relate to you and have insight to be able to look past that mask that you've been wearing has benefited you. Are you thinking about that? Do you have that in mind? How many times you have actually benefited from the empathy of other individuals, not the sympathy, but the empathy of other individuals. Go ahead, take a few minutes to think about it. The last time you were suffering and how someone's empathy reached its arms out to you and embraced you and how much better that made you feel. I don't have to think too far back. I do not have to think too far back for my own experience. Very recently, within the last month, and maybe even, even within the last week, but definitely within the last month, having lost a loved one, having had major surgery, just six weeks out from major surgery, I can remember the empathy of other individuals in the program that made me feel, you know what, girl? I went through that same type of surgery and you're gonna have to take it easy, but you can do it. You're gonna be okay. You are going to be okay. And they have no idea. I mean, I'm sure I express gratitude, but I kept those words deep in my heart to be able to stay motivated and encouraged. Do you have those in in instances in your mind right now? Okay, now that you have them, when was the last time you expressed empathy towards another individual, not just in your household, but another individual in the program, another individual at work, another individual that you have to uh, encounter that you don't normally encounter on a day-to-day -day basis, maybe? right? Maybe it's somebody on the bus. Maybe it's an Uber driver. I have no idea. But I want you to think about the gift of recovery and how it grows from our Just for Today for the same day, September 22nd, how it grows when we give it away. That's empathy that you're giving away. You do understand that, right? When you're expressing your experience, strength, and hope, that's empathy that you're giving to someone else. Have you done that lately? Think about it. Have you done that lately? In an authentic manner, right? And if you haven't, I want to encourage you today to be empathetic. I want you to be empathetic and to show others how much you actually can relate to them. I've enjoyed talking to you today and I am going to be talking to you tomorrow. But in the meantime, please have a beautiful day on purpose.